What's up everybody, welcome back. Patrick here, and in this question, we're told a triangle has two sides with length x plus y and 5x minus 10y respectively. If its perimeter is 8x minus 12y, find a simplified expression for the ratio of the third side to the perimeter. So let's uh, draw on a diagram what we have so far. So we have this triangle here. We're told this side is x plus y. We're told this side is 5x minus 10y. And we have this side here, 3. We're not told what the length of the third side is. So let's just call it side 3. And then we're told the perimeter of this triangle is 8x minus 12y. And then we have to find a simplified expression for the ratio of the third side to the perimeter. So how can we represent the ratio of side three to the perimeter? Well, we could show that as a fraction. So we could take the length of side three and put it over the perimeter. Well, notice for this fraction here, we already have the perimeter. So we have the denominator, that's 8x minus 12y, but we don't have the third side. We don't have side three, we don't have that length. So we're gonna have to find that. And we could find that with this information here. We know in general, the, um, perimeter is equal to side one plus side two plus side three. That gives us the perimeter, let's just call it P. So if we want to isolate for side three, basically we could bring side one and side two over. So it would be the perimeter minus side one minus side two. Notice we could plug everything in now. So the perimeter, we're told it's 8x minus 12y. And then we're going to be subtracting side 1, x plus y. Now when you subtract this side, you got to make sure you put it in brackets. Like that. All right? It's really important that you're subtracting that whole side. So that's where a common mistake comes in. You can't just put minus x plus y because then that minus doesn't get distributed inside that whole bracket. So that's one of the tricks of this question. You gotta be subtracting that whole side. And then we're gonna be subtracting side two. Again, that has to go in brackets as well, 5x minus 10y. Then from here, you can just simplify. So 8x minus 12y minus x minus y when we distribute that negative one. Distribute the negative one here, all the signs change like that. So we got side three. And then we got 8x minus x minus 5x. Those are the like terms. So that would give us 2x. And then we got minus 12y minus y plus 10y. That would give us um, minus 3y. So that is the simplified expression for side three. And now that we have this expression for side three, we can find that simplified expression for the ratio. So going to here, so this is kind of split up. Side three, two x minus three y. And then the ratio or the uh, perimeter is eight x minus 12 y. So notice how this is now a rational expression. We have to simplify it. So first thing we want to do is we want to factor. So we got 2x minus 3y. Notice how we could factor out a 4 in the bottom. So we'd be left with 2x minus 3y as well. And then from here, you want to get your restrictions before simplifying. So notice how 2x minus 3y cannot equal 0 because that would make the denominator equal to zero. And it wouldn't make sense for us to have a zero perimeter. 
right? These sides are going to take some kind of value, so the perimeter is going to take some kind of value. So basically, the denominator can't be zero, the perimeter can't be zero. So um, you, because there's two variables, you could isolate for one of them. I'm going to isolate for the x. So this means that x cannot equal 3y over 2, like that. OK, and now going back to simplifying, Notice how 2x minus 3y is common in both the numerator and the denominator. We could cancel that out. So we're just left with 1 over 4. So that is the answer. That's the simplified expression for the ratio of the third side to the perimeter. And what does that mean? Well, it actually means that this side is 1 fourth of the perimeter. Does that make sense? So it's 25% of the perimeter. That's what this ratio means here. And that's it. That's the final answer. So first you want to get an expression for side 3. Then once you have an expression for side 3, you could put it uh, you could put side 3 over the perimeter. That's the ratio of the third side to the perimeter. Simplify it, you get 1 over 4. And don't forget these brackets here. When you're subtracting the sides, you got to put the sides in brackets because you're subtracting that whole side.